Hey guys, welcome to NCX Tech. If you have ever needed to run a Windows application or game on Linux but felt overwhelmed by the comparatively issues, today's video is for you. I'm going to show you how to easily run Windows application on Linux using Bottles. Whether you are transitioning from Windows or just need a specific app, Bottles make it simple and efficient. Okay, so let's get started. So before we begin, let's discuss what Bottles is. Bottles is a user-friendly tool that allows us to run Windows application on Linux. It is built on top of Wine, where Wine is a compatibility layer for running Windows application on Linux and other Unix-like operating system without needing any Windows installation and it translates Windows system calls into Linux compatible ones. What sets Bottles apart is its graphical user interface, which simplifies the complex process of configuring Wine. Instead of managing Wine prefixes manually, Bottles organizes them for us, ensuring each application runs in its own environment without any conflicts. Bottles also handles dependencies automatically. If an application requires certain Windows components like DirectX or .NET Framework, Bottles will install them automatically. We can even customize the environment, choosing different Wine versions or adjusting settings to optimize performance for gaming or work applications. Ok, so now let's begin the installation process. So here in my case, I'm using PropOS and you can follow the same process for any Linux distribution. Uh, so for now, we are going to Bottles official website and here it is. And as of now, Bottles is available just as a flat pack app. We don't have any other support like uh, Snap, Debian, or AppImage. We are going to install this as a flat pack app. So here we have download option, only flat pack option available. So before we install this, you need to make sure that you have already installed and set up flat pack in your system. And if you haven't already, uh, you can go through this link. And since I'm using uh, Pop OS, which is based on Ubuntu, so here uh, first I need to set up Flatpak. So for this, I need to install Flatpak. So for this, copy the command and open terminal and paste it. The sudo password. And since I've already done this, I get this message. Uh, and also, uh, you can add the Flathub repository uh, using this command to get Flatpak apps. Okay, so now it's done. Now we go back and run few commands. Okay, so here I'm going to run this first command. Mm, so here I'm getting this message. So I'm going to install this in my system. So for this, I'm going to press 1, press Y to install and this requires these 16 different components to install so press Y again and this is definitely going to take some amount of time so I'm going to skip the part so as you can see now that the installation process is complete uh, so now to run the app we can copy and paste this second command or we simply go to the application menu and from there we can see bottles is already there let's open it up so here's the welcome screen so again it is going to take some time to set up everything okay so for now uh, everything is done so now we can create a new bottle in bottles a bottle is an isolated environment where a windows application runs to create one, uh, click create new bottle. Uh, so we can name the bottle. So here, uh, first I'm going to try with uh, this Windows exclusive app Notepad++. I'm going to try this out, which is available just for Windows. It's not available for Linux. And I have already downloaded this installer file here, PLC. So here it is, npp notepad++. This is the windows installer file, .exe file. I'm going to try this out. So in bottles, I'm just going to name it npp. I'm going to set up the environment. So we have three different options. 
application gaming and custom so since this is a simple productivity app so i'm just going to set it as application so if you are going to install a game you can choose gaming okay so here application and nothing to do over here create so now this is going to create a new bottle it is going to install all the required dependencies so finally a uh, new bottle npp is created in order to install notepad plus plus click run executable inside this npp bottle i'm going to install this notepad plus plus application so so now you can see if you are already familiar with this this is windows like in installer uh, we can install it okay so now we can see notepad plus plus is now installed so as i click on finish so there you can see the windows application notepad plus plus which is running in our linux machine just to test this uh, let me uh, create a random html file mm, okay and let me just save it mm, okay so they have save option and there you can see uh, windows like file system program files program data users windows uh, so for now i'm going to save this inside let's say i'm going to save this inside desktop let's save it okay so now it's done in order to get this uh, file uh, it's not available in our regular file system uh, we need to go to the home folder folders as well so there we have dot var inside of this we have bottles uh, so data bottles bottles and pp so here you can see the bottles that we have created so inside of this uh, drive c uses uh, public i don't think it's going to be available here so we need to go steam user so there on the desktop so here you can see the html file that we have created actually it's html.txt so this is the exact html file that we have created using notepad plus plus so next I'm, I'm going to install another app uh, vlc and also i have uh, downloaded uh, the dot exe file so here it is vlc and i'm going to install this so for this uh, inside bottles so we have two different options either we can create a new bottle like before or instead of same bottle npp we can install another application as well so with this we are going to share the common dependencies we don't need to download it again but it is a better practice to create another bottle so that we don't have any conflicts between the applications so since i'm doing all this for test purpose so i'm going to install vlc inside of the same bottle and pb so again uh, i'm going to run executable so there you can see vlc okay let's open it so you can see windows like installer press ok next 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 the installation is complete oh so there we have vlc and i'm going to try this out as well whether it's working or not so for this i'm going to place some multimedia file inside of this uh, bottles folder mm, okay so let me go here so i have this video let me copy this the same folder i have bottles data bottles bottles and and pp again so they drive c mm, okay users steam user so again i'm going to copy this inside desktop folder okay so vlc so there we have vlc so let me open so there you can see inside desktop the video and i've just copied okay, welcome to, welcome to so this is one of my video 
you can see it is working completely fine and let me try if it supports drag and drop so let me drag and drop this here as you can see it also supports drag and drop so here inside this portal npp i have installed two different applications you can see vlc and notepad plus plus so you can open any of them vlc and if i want to open notepad plus plus just click here so there we have and guys that's all for today so now you know how to install and use bottles to run windows application on your linux system effortlessly whether you are using it for productivity apps games or any other software bottles make the whole process smooth and beginner friendly so if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more linux tutorial videos and feel free to ask questions in the comment section. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time.